that she was the same individual that Anders Breivik, the individual who, respons who was responsible for killing 77 individuals in one of the most prolific crimes in the last 100 years, that individual dedicated an entire chapter to Ayan McGann. So the, the challenge really is, and I will repeat this, if someone wants to quote aspects of the Islamic discourse, aspects of the Islamic uh, jurisprudential tradition, and juxtapose it with the Western discourses, especially here we're talking about second wave feminism, and expect Islam to correspond with those, they'll be utterly and bitterly disappointed because clearly we believe our system is superior. We believe the system is failing. We believe that uh, nuclear households are d being destroyed in the West. We believe that you've got it wrong. We believe that we've got it right. And so in order to defeat us in argument, you must first argue from first principles. And so yes, we do have differences with Western, especially second wave or third wave feministic discourses, but that does not, that does in no way sh uh, show or indicate that Islam is misogynistic. To the contrary, and one last thing I will say is McGann herself is blissfully ignorant. I and McGann, I and Hersey McGann, blissfully ignorant of the Islamic tradition, the underqualified, overconfident, ultra crepidarian academic charlatan right-wing apple polisher obsequious woman that she is doesn't even know that in, in it doesn't even know the basics of the islamic tradition mentions in her book heretic in page 77 that we worship muhammad she doesn't even know the basics of the religion she makes squandering mistakes one after the other about gender in jurisprudence in islam in her latest book uh, pray you can see it in uh, page 151 where she ma ma makes a series of uh, unsubstantiated claims about Muslim women uh, and their rights in Islam saying that their rights can be sold to strangers and all kinds of nonsense propositions which have no basis in the religion of Islam. So if you really want to know about women's rights in Islam, one has to go to the source and this ultra crepidarian academic charlatan uh, Ayan is, is, is just a failure who's, who's been uh, embro has been let in by the most unusual types of affirmative action program to the neoconservative circles because she has no academic uh, acumen at all.